Andrew's trouncing of Canada in Sydney last night. The big turnout. Thousands of and as the match wore on, their overall play proved inadequate. For the Oli Roos, Danny Tiato on the left played a vital role, as did Goran Lozanovsky, both providing dangerous crosses and wide overlapping play. The early pressure then paid dividends as the Australians began to take control. Mark Viduka playing a generous role in attack combined strength with Joe Spiteri's pacey support. The Mexican wave was the crowd's response to an otherwise dull first half. However, 16 minutes in, Hayden Fox stepped up for the game's opening goal. Fox again! There it is, the first goal for Australia! Hayden Fox! Australia went from strength to strength. The only mishap was an injury to Gabriel Mendes, which tragically was to have dire consequences. The clouds finally cleared following a day of rain, and the Oli Roos came out for the second half with a bang. Goran Lozanovsky making it 2-0 from a set piece. Yes! The second for Australia! As the players piled up, so did the goals. A frantic final 10 minutes saw the floodgates open wide. Mark Viduka increased the lead after some patient attacking play. An absolutely brilliant goal from Australia. Paul Agostino off the substitutes bench returned to the fray with a goal. And with three minutes remaining, captain Kevin Musket, leading by example, charged ahead and completed the route. The captain, he's got men on the right, he's got men on the left, he goes on his own, and that is fine! It was at last a comprehensive Australian victory on a day that mattered. It's brilliant, absolutely marvellous. I mean, I had nothing much to do today. Thank, thank God for the defence, I thought they played brilliantly. The midfield, absolutely superb, and the strikers just did their jobs tonight. I'm speechless, I can't say anything, I don't know. Looking ahead now, what's, what's, what's ahead now, eh? Well, we've probably got the camp in the next couple of weeks and we'll be off to Atlanta. Um, we're not sure who the three overseas based players are. <laughs> How'd it feel being out there today? Eh? Oh, it was brilliant. Uh, just, just listen to that, mate, it's unbelievable, I can't explain it. And in the end, it was a comprehensive win, what turned it around? Uh, I just think um, the first half, we didn't play too well. We went in the, the dressing room and Tom let us know what we were doing. And we came out and proved in the second half that what we can do. It probably hasn't sunk in yet. I think the boys, uh, you can see they're pretty happy. And I think tonight will be a pretty big night. You know, not too much to drink, I don't think. And the festivities then continued into a champagne-ridden Australian dressing room. Kevin, on behalf of all the coaching staff, congratulations. <laughs> And we were very nervous in the first half. There was a lot of stake and uh, one or two we started to kick long balls and we started to give possession away. Once the second goal went in, we started to keep possession and we started to play our normal stuff. And then it's, you know, five is a, uh, a good result for us in the end. Across the way, there were few excuses. If we were hard done by or if a referee's decision had gone against us, uh, perhaps I'd be upset. But in the end, I think you, uh, you need to be realistic in your assessments and... Uh, over the two-game series, the better team won. Group B, consisting of Spain, France and Saudi Arabia, will be Australia's next challenging hurdle at the Olympic Games, with the first match against France on July 20. Andrew Orsati, SBS Sport.